This local sports report is presented by the Inn of Waterloo, a proud supporter of local sports. The Inn is open and is now offering gym and pool memberships to the KW community. Book a room, hit the gym, and go for a swim at the Inn, located at 475 King Street North in Waterloo. Call 519-804-1130 or visit the Inn of Waterloo. It's my pleasure to be here uh, at Resurrection High School with, uh, with Tyson Paul and to announce his signing to uh, the University of Western Ontario. Uh, very excited to have the District 8 MVP uh, join our team. He's a remarkable young man and a great football family. And we're very excited to, to welcome you to Western. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Welcome to the team. It's amazing, honestly. I can't, it's, it's so hard to think about sometimes because I've been working so hard for this for, man, I've been playing football since I was like five and now it's, it's finally here. And I was shaking earlier when we were kind of getting this all set up today. Cause I was thinking, I was like, wow, it's, it's really finally here. All, like, all this stuff I've kind of worked for is kind of like coming together. And I'm like so happy that I have coaches, like family, friends all here like to support me, which it just makes it all just so much more meaningful to me. Everything about Western was kind of just felt like home. I was talking to the coaches, talking to the players, everything was just great. Uh, for schooling wise, it was just, they had the programs I wanted and everything about it. We went to like the, the tours and the, all our like campuses and the classrooms and just, it felt like, it felt natural, it felt home. So I really just, it just I just knew that was a place for me. It's important for us to get the best talent in Ontario, you know, not only just in London, but uh, surrounding area. And uh, in Tyson, you know, we saw him play this, this past summer. He was a shutdown boundary corner and a guy that we felt could, could really, you know, be a, a kid that would work hard and, and, and really show at the next level. So, you know, he's got some, uh, some work to do, but we're, we're excited to see him progress and know that he's, he's got the right kind of mindset to kind of fit into our culture. Obviously, he's a great player on the field. Off the field, he's just a great kid. Like, every, like you can see from, you know, all the past coaches, all his teammates everyone that's out here everyone loves this kid like he, his work ethic speaks for itself too like he's always getting our stuff done and, it, and his comprehension of everything is is just next level like you can tell him something once he's going to understand how to do it um, but ultimately you know western's getting a great kid and and uh, as a person and a player first of all i'll say as a person he's a great kid i mean he's a great football player he's a better person he's a better kid right just the way he is the way he interacts with his peers right he's always there for them he's just a solid solid great kid great foundation and that just leads into the field where, right, he makes plays. That's all he did all season was he made, when we needed a play to be made, offense, defense, special teams, he made the play. I'd like to thank Coach Kevin and the whole Western staff for this amazing opportunity I've been blessed with. I'd like to thank my mom for everything she's done for me since I was, you know, all throughout football my entire life, being there for me, grinding me through school, making sure I stayed on task, and every, every day I didn't want to go, hounded me, you know, make myself better. I'd like to thank Lions for every, you know, uh, all the time they put into me. I, I like to thank MVP for, you know, for all the help and the different training we did in all the tournaments. I like to thank my dad because he's been a coach for my mind for a long time and it's just been a, it's just been a blast having him as a coach and as a father, you know, a real role model for me. I like to thank uh, Coach Christian with the Lions. That, you know, he was really a great DB coach for me the past few years and helped me really develop. Coach CB, who's here today, he was, you know, really one of the first, you know, DB coaches that I had that kind of showed me the real ways of being a DB, kind of helped push me uh, to being a DB. I like to thank Coach Will, Will McMahon, he passed a few years ago, but uh, he was the one that actually made me into the DB. Every year he'd come up to me thinking, uh, hey, you know, I know you're a boundary corner, and you're not a receiver, you're not a receiver. Did it for three years straight, it finally stuck, and now I'm glad I'm here today where I'm playing and, uh, as a DB, doing great. I'd like to thank uh, my teammates, of course. I, there's no way I would have been here without my teammates. I'd like to thank Resurrection as a high school. You know, all the teachers that helped me get through my classes, all the coaches at Resurrection that helped me become better, all the teammates I had at Res that, you know, that fueled me into becoming this, a, a great player and just honestly, just the great friends that I had all along the way that really pushed me to be the greatest I could be.